Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. With his little sister, Calamity. Buffalo Bill Jr. brings you exciting action. Thrill and fun Whoa. with Judge Ben Fair and Square, Wiley. For many years, the history of the American frontier told of one bitter Indian war after another. Tribe after tribe fought to hold on to their hunting grounds and sacred places. Finally, Uncle Sam stepped in to make peace. By treaty, he set aside certain territories as Indian reservations. A Navajo reservation was located not far from Wileyville. On one small corner of the reservation was a sacred spot, a mysterious bubbling tar pit the Navajo called the Grave of the Monsters. Here they built a shrine to the monster god, Nakale. My adopted son, Buffalo Bill Jr., was spending so much time with White Eagle, the chief's son, I was beginning to suspect he might have a little Navajo blood. What'd you ask for this time, White Eagle? Same as always, peace and happiness for our people. I thought it was something special. That was beautiful beadwork. If we ask the best of the gods, we must offer the best. I guess that's right. I'm taking these supplies up to your village. You want to come along? My father sent me here to meet our Indian agent. There he is now. Howdy, Mr. Bartlett. Oh, Buffalo Bill Jr. How's Judge Wiley? Oh, just fine, thanks. Well, give him my best, will you? Calamity, too. I sure will. Well, I got to get these supplies to Brave Duck, so I'll see you later. You ready, White Eagle? Show me where you saw those strange men. Judge, am I glad you're here? Why? This box came for you, and it looks like it's mighty important. You mean your curiosity's killing you, isn't that it? Well, aren't you gonna open it? Why? I know what's in it. But I don't. <laughs> well, all right. I guess I'd better check it over anyway. Is it for me? Well, now, I don't know. Open up. Yep, I'm sure it is. What do you mean? This is my new dental equipment. Then it's not for me. <laughs> What is that thing on Maids? That's a surveyor's tramp. I think I know what they're up to. Wait here. Keep out of sight. I, I will go with you. The white men make trouble. It's my job to stop them, not yours. What's going on here? Well, and just who are you? The Indian agent, Jim Bartlett. Oh, I see. Well, I'm Dr. Paul Haddon, a naturalist. Uh, this is my technical assistant, Bert Major. We're just correcting the survey before we file our claim. Claim? Claim to what? Well, this little triangle of land. I found some marvelous relics of the Pliocene period. Masses and skeletons and, uh... Well, you don't need to file a claim to dig for bones. This land belongs to the Navajos. It's a sacred ground to them. But the mistake in the survey... There's no mistake in the survey. I helped run it myself. I think you're after something besides old bones. That survey stake over there. So it's been moved. That's against the law. You're going to jail. And who's going to put it there?
in a mess, killing an Indian agent. Maybe not. No witnesses. All we got to do is get rid of the body. And how do you propose to do that? Old Mother Nature will take care of that. Come on, give me a hand. One, didn't you, White Eagle? Looks pretty bad. We're gonna have to get some help and quick. Elk. My son. Some stranger jumped him. He took a bad knock on the head. I sure hope he's all right. He has hard head. We take him to village. I sure wish there was something I could do to help. After all, my eagle's my blood brother. Thank you. You're a good friend. Now to pull teeth painlessly. First, you take the biangular forceps and you... Now, I wonder which one of those newfangled doodads that is. Take your time, Judge. Why don't I just... No, come them? back here. You said one of your teeth was loose and we might just as well get it out right now. The little cut off by itself, just like the other ones yeah, did. Well, never mind. I'll handle that. Let's see. Ah, there we are. 
Now, wouldn't you like to put it under your pillow tonight and have the good fairies put a big surprise there for you? I don't like surprises, and I don't believe in fairies. Here, come back. Clancy, come back here. Well, let me go. I gotta get out of here. Why? Judge got some new dental appointment, and he wants to pull my loose tooth. So that's why you were running. He wants to work on you next, too. This is serious. We're gonna have to do something about it. You said it. And now, Calamity, if you'll get right in this chair, little lady, and open wide. Sure is beautiful stuff. Must have cost a lot of money. Yeah, I guess it did. How much exactly? Well, the bill's right there on the register. Right there now. Right there. It's going to take a lot of patience to pay for this. Yes, I reckon it will at that. You're going to have to let folks know they can come in and get false teeth and so on. You're going to have to use promotion. Promotion? promotion. Sure. Put a display out in front. Something that will make them come in and check. You mean a sign? No. It's got to be something unusual. You know? Say, I think I know just the thing. Something I saw up on the reservation. What is it? Well, just wait till you see. I'll take it right up and bring it back. Wait, I'm going with you. No, you're not. Why not? For two reasons. I know. First? I'm a girl. We decided a long time ago that's no reason. We decided? What's the other one? Well, secondly, there's some kind of trouble up on the reservation. It's safe for me to go because I'm White Eagle's blood brother. That reason's no good either. I'm his blood sister. Let's go. <laughs> Kick it all right. Emotion. Say, I wonder if I've been slickered. There. Nobody could tell it wasn't legitimate. What about the description? Hold on here. Legal and proper. I better check this one calculation, though. Let me have your survey notebook. Well? I don't seem to have it. You mean you lost it? Maybe in the fight with the agent. Or at the tar pits. You two better get back up there and find it right now. What about you? I'll finish this application and ride into town. The judge in Wileyville can file our claim. What if he gets suspicious? He won't. You leave that to me. Now get going and find that notebook. Oh, I knew I saw it around here someplace. It isn't here. Let's travel by the tar pits. Here it is. What? Isn't it a beauty? A big old two. When people see this hanging outside the judge's store, they'll be so curious they'll have to come inside. So that's what promotion is. You can have the honor of taking it back to Wileyville and see that the judge hangs it up outside right away. Well, where are you going? Well, I'm going back to the Indian village to see how White Eagle is. Can I come along? You know what'll happen if we don't get this back to the judge and bring him in some dental customers? Oh, all right. <laughs> Somebody may hear the shot. Thank you. 
You're Judge Wiley? Well, among many things, I happen to be a judge, yes. I understand that you can register a claim for me. Sure can, if everything's in order. Mm-hmm, I see. What next, Judge? Well, you just stand by, Calamity, until I dispose of this legal matter here. Uh, will it take long, Judge? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> just a moment or two. You know, I could have sworn that this piece of land was part of the reservation. <laughs> but I guess it won't be the first time we found a mistake in a survey. <laughs> oh, uh, say, Judge, uh... I was kind of curious about that giant tooth you have displayed outside. You want some dental work? Good? Reasonable? <laughs> no. The truth is, I'm a scientist. I'm interested in it purely as a paleontological relic of the Cenozoic Age. Oh, yeah, sure. Of course. I should have known. Now, raise your right hand. You solemnly swear that the statements made in this document are true? I do. Then I pronounce you... Ma that's the wrong ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, about that tooth, Judge. Well, uh, Bill and Calamity found it. Out on the reservation. Yeah, the tar pit, where the Indian shrine is. There's lots more of them, too. And you, you seem to know a lot about Indians, little girl. Why shouldn't I? After all, I'm White Eagle's blood sister. White Eagle? The chief's son. Maybe you've seen him. He's about so high, and he wears gray pants and a studded belt. And you see a lot of this white eagle? Yes, practically every day. I see. Yeah. There's your registration receipt, and there's your claim. Thank you, Judge. Uh, say, Judge, uh, I was wondering, uh, would you mind if your daughter came along with me and showed me exactly where and how she found that tooth? Well, I don't know. She's the only help I got today. Well, I guess it's all right. Sure, run along, honey. Show him where it was. Well, maybe on the way we can stop by my cabin. I'll show you my microscope and specimen cases. Oh, boy! We'll get you out, Bill. How do I look? Like Navajo Brave. Better than wearing a suit of tar, home. Glad you got my signal. We not come because of your signal. You didn't. White Eagle tell us of murder. I saw three men kill Mr. Bartlett, our agent, and throw him in the sacred pit. That's why they wanted to kill you. So I could not tell. We go try to find Mr. Bartlett. We better report this to the judge right away. Come on. Then you weren't actually with your Indian friend today. No, not today, but most always. Gee, this is wonderful. Yes. Great thing, science. Where are we going to go look for some more bones? Soon. We're waiting for someone. Had more in trouble. The young kid they called Buffalo Bill Jr. found the book. I had to get rid of him. Bill! You killed Bill! You killed my brother! Oh, you fool! And then they threw the Indian agent's body into the tar pits. Did you tell the judge how they were dressed? The leader wore boots, up to here. And a cap like a hunter wears. That sounds like Dr. Haddon. Who? The fella come in here a while ago and registered a claim. Calamity went away with him. He's got calamity? Oh, my gosh. We'd better get help and go after her. White Eagle's people can help. I'll follow her, because I know her pony's tracks. But where shall we go? Tell Brave Elk and his people to wait at the Big Oak at Skyline Rocks. I'll signal you there. Sure, Bill.
this after all the trouble we took. Because of that trouble, as you put it, that we have to leave to save our skin. But thanks to the judge, we have a valuable claim worth a lot of money in any state in the union. I'll put some of this stuff on the horses. Bring the girl along. How far are we taking her? Just across the line. We'll have a long walk back. Come on, sister, you're next. No, I'm staying right here. You're coming if I have to care. <laughs> We got rid of you once. Indians! On your feet, mister. Thanks, Catano. On your horse, sis. All that murdering and shooting over a worthless piece of land and a pile of old bones he could have had anyway. Well, maybe he doesn't want the land. Maybe he wants what's under it. You mean like that oil coming out of the rock? What's that good for? Calamity's right, Bill. That rock oil's no good. You can't use it in lamps. It explodes. And it's no good for grease with all that tar in it. Indians say it makes good medicine, but... Uh... Well, maybe he'll tell us. You're a good persuader, Judge. Sure. Why didn't I think of that before? Ah, well, it was loose all right, but it won't trouble you anymore. And while we're at it, we might just... No, uh, no more, I'll tell you. Well? Uh, you're all right. We're after the rock oil. It'll be worth a fortune as fuel, running riverboats and trains. Mm hmm So Bill was right. Now White Eagle and the Indians will be rich. Well, at least they'll be able to buy everything they need. I sure got to hand it to you, Judge. Just like you were going to say. It's like pulling teeth getting anything out of him. Yeah, I'll eat. <laughs> yeah. yeah.